Welcome to the new video, the revised Pinnacle Studio 12 settings, as last time I have now realised that some of the settings are slightly wrong and make your videos a bit iffy, because it's been doing it to me lately. Right, so at first, let's do the colour settings. Down here to the left, if, you, if you've noticed my new videos, the colours look slightly better. So if you use sharpness, you want to go up four dots as you can see. Colour saturation from the middle line you want to go up four dots and leave the rest in the middle. For your audio you obviously want audio capture on. Then you click your settings. Let's start with capture source. No scene detection. Right this is where the tricky bit comes. You want them to set to dazzle. You want your aspect ratio widescreen for YouTube, obviously. This is for the UK only. If you're recording in PAL 50, like you can record GTA in PAL 50 and it looks better, change your settings to PAL. If you're recording in PAL 60, change your settings to NTSC. And then when you click record, you'll need to go in AMCAP but that's on another video I made anyway. So if you want to know how to um, do your video in PAL 60, I will post an annotation to the link to the video of how to record in PAL 60. Right, this box here, capture preview. If your video, it depends what you want. Many of you are also asking now, why is, there, why is the video turning into a black box when I'm recording? Because if you have that unticked, capture preview, the box goes black. So then it's not giving a live stream of the video that you're recording, causing it to lag. You're better off having it unticked, but if you really, really want to risk it lagging and watch the horrible thing, tick it. It's up to you. Capture format, you want your MPEG-1.2, high quality DVD. Your project preferences, this is why I went wrong last time. Automatically save, untick all of those boxes leave the bit as it is and set from first clip added to the project for project format as when you're changing from PAL to NTSC if you're causing in PAL 5060 it can break it and cause some weird vertical lines to go across your screen so if you're better off doing it to automatic and then it does it itself so once you've done that, you want your video and audio preferences, enable background rendering, use this codec, best output to disk. If you're going to be recording a voiceover, you want to put your microphone, enable full screen resolution and hardware acceleration. Once you've done that, click OK. Right, obviously this is in black and white because I'm recording in PAL 60 and I haven't used AMCAP yet, so just ignore that. Edit, for when you want to edit your clip. Right, let's see what's in my edit bank. Back. Wrong one. No, it's not going to disappear. Back. For some reason this program likes to take ages to load videos. Give it a minute. How long does it take? Right, anyway. One of three. Two of three. Right, here we go. Here's one of the latest video to MPG. When you get your file, it'll look something like this is a PAL 50 game, because you can tell by the white. But once you get your file, you can either render it like that. That's a PAL 50 file. This is a PAL 60. As you can see, it starts in black and white and then changes to color. As you can see, there's a black line around the thing. So what you do is you start recording before, split clip where it starts in colour or where you want the video to start. Then if you've got Ultimate Studio you can crop the picture. Click full screen then crop then get rid of the black lines 
I'm doing this quick, I usually do take more time on this. Scale, move it across there. Use a video on the right here to see how close you are to the lines or whatever. It's going to the edge sometimes doesn't work. Right there you can see it's good enough. So then once you've done that you just click close. And now you can see it's full. You could also do colour correction and that but I don't think I need to because the colours look better since I've done the other settings. Then you click make movie. Now the best settings now it takes a long time to render but I'll explain. Windows Media this is what I think don't go for the high quality NTSC anymore because it compresses the video too much click on HD 720 by 60p or if you're in PAL HD 720 by 50p basically you want the resolution 1280 by 720 once you click that you click create file it'll take a while to render even this in HD I'll just leave it do it for a few minutes and then show you As you can see in the box let's cancel that and then when you've got your video it will look like let me find it this one when it loads up in this it'll load up in the 720p window it'll look pixelated don't be worried by this because when you watch it on YouTube not many people watch it in full screen so if you move it to about the YouTube size it's about there it doesn't look as bad about that actually it doesn't look pixelated you can actually read the text the map looks clear enough for standard quality and that's basically it this is the revised settings for Pinnacle Studio so um, thanks for watching and remember to um, comment rate and subscribe and change your settings to these because the last video is a bit wrong <laughs>